hi guys it's me delicious delights welcome to my channel today i want to talk about la petite robe noire by the house of guerlain uh, best to worst so yes a very 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 popular fragrance with a lot of flankers i haven't i haven't actually counted them uh, but i only have five here that i want to talk about uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give mini reviews of La Petite Robe Noir EDP, the original fragrance that started it all. <laughs> and then I want to talk about the EDT version and then the Eau Fresh version and then the EDP Intense version and finally the Black Perfecto o EDP Floral. So those are the five. I'll give a uh, short mini reviews of all of them and at the very end of this video I will just be ranking them from my least favorite to my most favorite. So let's begin. Uh, La Petite Robe Noir EDP. This was released in 2012. I have a little mini of it here. You can see how cute and adorable the bottle design is. Like everything about this bottle, about this bottle design is beautiful. <laughs> so I also have the sample so you can see the little black dress. Uh, and there we go. Okay, so EDP released in 2012. This one has notes of cherries, of almonds, red berries, licorice, vanilla, tonka. Just by the sound of the notes, you can already get an idea of what this fragrance might smell like. Uh, the sounds of the notes uh, are really, really interesting. Mm, okay, so this one on my skin isn't as intense of a cherry scent as I assumed it would be. It's not, like it's definitely there, but it's not intense at all. It's quite uh, subdued in my opinion. The cherry note in here kind of reminds me of cherry jelly beans rather than the actual cherry fruit very soft, very subtle. Uh, I also get a little bit of a smokiness in here, which I really like. And that makes it even more uh, smooth and delicate in my opinion. It's quite beautiful, this fragrance. I think a lot of people, uh, it's popular for a reason. It's, it's a really nice fragrance. Um, as this fragrance dries down, I'm reminded, I keep on thinking of cherry jelly beans kind of sitting in a steaming hot mug of black tea and the mug is made out of wood because <laughs> there is a little bit of a woodiness in here that I get as well and also a little bit of spice so you're adding some spice to that mug of um, cherry jelly bean tea really really nice and at the very end of the dry down of this fragrance, it does get a little bit more powdery on my skin. Um, and then the almond comes out the most at the very end as well. So it's a very interesting fragrance. It does evolve a lot on my skin, always changing, always keeping my interest. And it's, it's a really, really nice fragrance. Okay, so that was the Eau de Parfum. Next up, let's talk about La Petite Robe Noire Eau de Toilette. This one was released also in 2012, but later in the year, in October. Um, the original EDP was released in early 2012, but I couldn't figure out, I couldn't find out which month. Um, there's the little cute uh, bottle of it with the dress. Really, really adorable. Okay, so Eau de Toilette version has notes of cherry, apple, rose, musk, patchouli, jasmine. So, mm, okay. This fragrance on my skin is more of a freshy, a fresher, a fruitier version. It's very, very light as well. So, when I spray this on my skin, I immediately get a musk as well. Uh, but it's not an unpleasant musk. It's, it's, it's a very nice smelling 
um, quiet musk, I think. I also get some watery florals in here that give off a more green and leafy smell. And I just am picturing, I'm picturing like white florals floating in a slow moving stream. If you can imagine what that might smell like because it is very fresh and, uh, and green and very watery and floral. So the thing that I like most about this fragrance is that there's a green apple note in here and it's really, really nice. It's, it's barely there to my nose, but I can smell it. And when I do smell it and get whiffs of it, it's a really nice, like juicy, tart, uh, sour green apple. And I happen to really like the smell of sour green apple. Uh, that's definitely the best part of this fragrance. The dry down of the EDT version is similar to the EDP version in my opinion, but it's just so, so, so much weaker. Obviously it's an EDT, so you would expect it to be weaker, but it's so weak that you really, really have to try hard to be able to smell it. It's really <laughs> um, not really great with performance but that could just be my chemistry you know it could be maybe it lasts better on you but on me no but the green apple though is a really nice uh, touch in the EDT version okay next up let's talk about La Petite Robe Noire Eau Fresh Eau de Toilette this was released in 2015 here is what the cute little mini looks like and the dress. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so released in 2015. This one has really, really exciting notes when you read it. <laughs> when I read it out to you, be like, mm, that's gonna smell really, really nice. So in here there's pistachio, almond, almond blossom, freesia, lemon, cherry, tonka, strawberry, peach, raspberry. Uh, by the way, I, that's not like the whole entire list of notes. Those are just the ones that are the most uh, prominent according to Fragrantica. So yeah, when you hear those notes, you're like, mm, that's gonna sound really great, especially with the pistachio note, which I happen to love. I love the note of pistachio. So this fragrance opens as a really fresh, watery, musky smell with a hint of cherry, a very, very slight hint of cherry. Uh, this one's even more lighter than the EDT, uh, which is obviously expected. Eau Fresh, uh, I, it's this eau, eau Fresh Eau de Toilette, so assuming Eau Fresh, I'm assuming Eau Fresh obviously would be lighter than the EDT. Um, but in the opening, I don't really get any all of the any of those notes that I just read out to you. Uh, there's no nuttiness at all, no pistachio or almond. Um, it's just basically a fresh, watery, musky smell in the opening, along with a very nice green smell, green as in kind of grassy as well. In here, there's also watery florals. Uh, the most prominent floral to my nose is freesia and I really really like that note a lot. It smells really really nice and uh, almost citrusy, almost lemony to my nose. So yeah, kind of off put a little bit um, smelling this. I was expecting something else when I smelled this. I, was I guess I was expecting more of the pistachio almond uh, but I didn't get that in the opening. I did get that however in the dry down of this fragrance. Uh, the dry down of this fragrance on my skin is like a burnt, nutty smell. Um, it's not really warm though, it's still fresh. I also get uh, a musky smell in here as well. Very sweet, very subtle. Uh, the opening is definitely the best part of this fragrance, but if you're looking for like a pistachio um, centric smell or perfume, um, I don't, I'm not sure if you'll get it, at least on me, I don't get that at all. It's just a very, very 
subtle hint of nuttiness in the dry down only but for the most part this is just a very fresh watery musky um, light floral scent with also some fruity sweetness in the background okay so moving on the next one i want to talk about is la petite robe noire eau de parfum intense let's see here so this is what the bottle looks like a little mini of it you can see the dress is inspired by uh, Marilyn Monroe and her dress but obviously hers was white and uh, this is the black one so here is the bottle really 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 gorgeous just looking at this bottle um, it's just really pretty to look at even just for decoration uh, so yeah the actual juice of it though is not blue that's just the color I don't know if it's showing up but that's just the color of uh, the bottle itself but the juice is that color okay so La Petite Robe Noire Eau de Parfum Intense was released in 2016 this one some of the notes in this one are blueberry cotton candy vanilla patchouli raspberry okay so in the opening of this perfume on my skin I get a smoky blueberry smell plus musk this one is definitely the most sweetest Le Petit Robe Noir of the ones that I've tried also in the opening I get um, rose as well a rose that is very rich and dark so um, I talked about this fragrance like last year during Scentmas and back then I found this perfume too sweet so sweet that I didn't even like it at all um, but uh, things have changed since then um, since then uh, I guess my tastes have changed obviously and I am liking this fragrance more and more and more okay <laughs> so the mid of this fragrance it does lose a little bit of the sweetness um, and then it starts reminding me of like a blueberry jam and more specifically like a blueberry jam flavored cotton candy you definitely get the cotton candy in here um, but it's still not like overly sweet like a cotton candy like pink sugar it's just a subdued less sweet cotton candy smell but still being cotton candy and it's blueberry jam flavored <laughs> I guess what makes it jammy is the rose in here because I, I also still get that as well mm. okay the dry down of this fragrance to me smells more and more like a blueberry tea it gets more smoky on my skin I also get some more heavier notes like woods and some earthiness earthiness in here and it does eventually become a skin scent even though uh, it's stronger than the Eau Fresh and the EDT but I think in, in terms of long performance this one performs as well as the original Eau de Parfum the first one I talked about and all in all I would say this is just a very mature sweet ladylike gourmand but of course anyone would would anyone can wear this if you're a guy as well okay so the last one here i want to talk about is black perfecto la petite robe noire black perfecto eau de parfum floral such a long name i have the sample here here is what the bottle looks like very different from well not very different it's just a solid black and the other ones have been just like this so this was released in 2018 notes in here are rose leather uh, almond black tea black musk and I forgot to say that the leather is black leather specifically <laughs> I would say that this one is the most different out of what I've spoken about so far it's kind of like they wanted to maybe take it into a different direction or 
I guess, think, out, think outside the box a little bit. Um, this one is a very thick and dense and heavy, rich rose smell, along with some nutty almond. Uh, on the clothing, on my clothing though, I do get a rose leather scent, but on my skin, I get a rose almond scent. So please do, if you uh, are interested in this one, please do try it on your skin, also with your clothing, because they are very, very different, as uh, I could probably say that with every fragrance though. <laughs> okay, so as this fragrance dries down, it does get a lot more smokier on my skin, but it's not ever really cloying or overbearing or annoying or too heavy. Um, it's not in the notes, but when I wear this on my skin, I also get like a, a patchouli smell, like a rose patchouli, um, along with some spiciness. And I think this is really nice as well. It's a really strong scent, but it also has this uh, subtlety to it um, at the same time. I do really appreciate this flanker a lot um, because I guess they wanted to, uh, I don't know, I think when I, when I look at the bottle, I'm thinking of like an elegant Gothic kind of person would wear this and um, I guess it just brings more variety uh, to this line. So that was La Petite Robe Noire Black Perfecto Eau de Parfum Floral. All right, so now I'm going to rank them from my least favorite to my most favorite. My least favorite, I would say, well, before I get into that, I will say that I actually like all of these ones. Just because it's my least favorite doesn't really mean that I think they're bad. I think all of these are really well done perfumes. Um, but I will say that for, the, for some of them, the performance is just too light for what I like to wear. Um, but overall, it is a very likable line uh, and very respectable. I just appreciate this line a lot. It took me a while to appreciate this line, um, but now after, you know, testing them properly and wearing them and giving them another chance, even though I have been looking overlooking this line for quite a while, I do really enjoy this line a lot. Okay, so now let's finally rank these ones from my least favorite to my most favorite. My least favorite one would be the Eau Fresh version. It still smells nice. I do love the greenness in here a lot, but I guess I was expecting more of that pistachio note to shine on my skin and it just doesn't. It like barely, barely comes out on me. Still smells nice, but I also think that the performance on this one is just too light for me. It's almost like a body mist kind of thing. But yeah, that's my least favorite. Uh, in fourth place would be the Eau de Toilette version. Okay, it still smells nice. I really do like the green apple in here, making it more like yummy, uh, juicy, and tart. Uh, but again, this is a skin scent. And if you're into skin scents, then you should definitely check out the uh, Eau, de F Eau, Eau Fresh version and the Eau de Toilette version, but even for me, it just disappears way too quickly on my skin and uh, I'd like to, to wear something that I don't have to constantly reapply. So in third place, we have Black Perfecto Eau de Parfum Floral. Mm, okay. I really, I really like this one a lot. It's a very classy, classy gothic kind of woman that I can imagine wearing this. I can imagine men wear this too, but I, I just do like how uh, different this is compared to the other ones that I've tried. But yeah, a really nice little curveball with the rose leather combination and keeping it still a little bit uh, in the line with like the almond 
um, that I do detect in the EDP version. I get that in this one as well. Okay, so the second, the second place is the original Eau de Parfum. Okay, so yeah, I like this one a lot because it does change a lot on my skin. It's like constantly morphing, constantly evolving on my skin, giving me different smells. It's just a very interesting scent. That smokiness from the tea in here is just to die for. Yeah, I really like that, how that smoky tea kind of makes me feel. It kind of makes me feel like, like a ninja girl or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know when... Uh, I, okay, I'm not going to go there. But yeah, I'm thinking of like this really nice smoky, smoky tea, black cherry, cherry jelly bean smell. And I think it's really nice and unique and really beautiful. However, my most favorite oh. scent of this line, of the ones that I've talked about, is La Petite Rope Noir... Eau de Parfum Intense, this uh, blue shade uh, bottle. This one, where is my, yeah. Okay, mm, okay. <laughs> so this one I like the most. Uh, when I first tried it, I didn't like it. As I said before, it was one that really, really grew on me. But this smoky blueberry tea thing is just so so yummy it's really sweet but i don't find it to be like overly sweet and i just find it to be like a grown-up uh mature gourmand scent that uh of course all ages can wear but that's what i think of when i smell this and it's just really 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 gorgeous and i love that a lot and if you haven't tried it it is definitely one to try especially and if you have tried it and you didn't like it, it might be one that grows on you as well as it did with me. And now it's my favorite of the line. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was my video. La Petite Robe Noire by Guerlain. Best to worst. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'd love to hear your opinions on these fragrances. Uh, also, maybe some of the flankers that I didn't mention. Uh, ones that you like, ones that you don't like. I'd love to hear it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back with more videos soon. Take care. Bye-bye.